Today I'm gonna to review the molecule of more. How a single chemical in your brain drives love, sex, and creativity and will determine the fate of the human race by Daniel Z. Lieberman and Michael E. Long. So this was a short, quick book. It was pretty engaging. It was enjoyable to read. However, it's one of those really flimsy kind of science books that's aimed at the non-traditional non-fiction reader. Um, it really simplifies the subject of like neurochemistry and what's going on in the brain and it simplifies it so much so it can deliver this very consumable book. And I found it easy to follow and it was engaging. However, the entire book seems very simplified and it's filled with these very anecdotal examples of these principles in action. And the whole thing really felt just way too simplistic. Like if you contrast this book with something like Behave by Robert Sapolsky, they just have these like diametrically opposed views of what's happening in the brain. In this book, everything is very straightforward. It's very simple. It's very clear. And in Robert Sapolsky's book, there's a ton of complexity and interactions between different brain systems and how they compete to uh, influence what you do and how you act. Whereas in this book, it's looking at like dopamine and uh, how dopamine works. And it really tries to eliminate everything else that's at play in the brain in order to deliver this very simplified view of what's happening. Uh, this book really seems like it's aimed at more like a uh, business book type reader. Like when I read a lot of business books, they're very simple and like they repeat themselves a bunch and they have like a lot of bullet points and little anecdotes here and there to make the whole thing very consumable. And it felt like the kind of that kind of perspective uh, of the author has been taken from like the business world and applied to science or you know uh, neurochemistry and really it felt lackluster though I could see a lot of people who maybe aren't as critical of what they read or they just don't read highly technical books might be really taken in by this and think it's uh, really engaging and fun and there's a lot of takeaways but I just felt like the science here did not live up to the standard that I really look for in books. And so I don't think this is a book I'm going to keep on my shelf. It's kind of flim flam. It's something you'd read on an airplane. But I mean, it really is not good at communicating hard science and what's really happening. So I guess if you're that kind of person that likes these types of flim flam books, then go ahead and pick it up. However, I imagine that those types of readers probably aren't on the internet looking at book reviews. So if you are watching this, you're more likely to want a more comprehensive technical book. Uh, so maybe stay away from this book. So I hope you guys like this review. I've got more reviews coming soon. So like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.